All right, I got a little time to myself, so I'm gonna take it. Kind of a test of systems here. This little button connected to this power source that I've rigged up from a 12 volt uh, oscillating saw from Harbor Freight is going to power this bilge pump here, which supposedly moves 750 gallons a minute. Now, I don't know exactly how much would fill up this uh, shitty Kmart special kayak that I've pretty much rode the shit out of, but I'm going to imagine it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 gallons. So, 40 gallons is going to turn a 43 pound boat into about 380 pounds thereabouts. So, basically, you might as well just say 40 pound boat turns into 400. So I do some open water kayaking sometimes, especially when I'm fishing. And when you're far away from shore, if you had to drag even a neutrally buoyant boat, even with the life vest on, to uh, shore maybe a quarter mile or so, you're gonna get gassed. So it would behoove one to have some kind of bilge system. I got this manual pump as a backup, but I wanna test it. this battery powered one Again, as a test of systems, just to see if it works. I got just a day, uh, a day paddle uh, loadout right now. Water source, you know, a couple, a uh, couple of provisions. I got everything pretty much waterproofed as I normally would have it from cell phone to cigarettes. So what I'll do is I'll just do a rollover and then I'll uh, pop tall and see if I can bilge this out in a neutrally buoyant manner. All right, let's see what's doing. GoPro, stop recording. All right, so first test is just going to be to fill this thing up with water and then purge it. Oh, there we go. I've siliconed up that Tupperware with the wiring, so we'll see as the boat rights itself. It's pushing out more water than it is taking in at this point. So you can imagine out in the middle of a lake, I'd be swimming alongside this thing, waiting for it to completely purge. a lot of water to move. This is like worst case scenario. I've had one time, one time where I've dumped the kayak and it's filled up completely and that was on uh, Conaconessa Creek in Pennsylvania. Everything had spilt and I was able to swim it to the side. All right, I think we get it. All right. Now most of the uh, water is towards the front, which was causing that to uh, you know, basically uh, lose, lose uh, suction, we'll call it. So what would happen is about at this point in time, I would get into the boat. And it's way, way hard to stay balanced with it listing like this. And what I'm doing is I'm leaning back, allowing it to better purge. You can hear the, the pump isn't getting as much water as it should, but when I lean back and the water goes to the back, it inactivates or it activates back on that pump. All right, so this thing is continuing to move water 
And what I would typically do here to conserve batteries, I would stop it because now I'm, I'm righted. And let's see what happens when I lean forward. So that water comes rushing towards the, uh, towards the front of the bow. That's still a lot of water. But what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to access my manual bilge pump. Lean this plumbing over the side and start moving water that way. In fact, what I would do probably is, howdy, is I would take it and I would put it out uh, towards the front so I can see the water moving. So this one moves the water on the uh, up and down stroke. And that would allow me to basically clear my boat even if I was to uh, become totally capsized. All right, moving that much water out would allow me to get back in the boat paddle to shore and finish purging the boat using gravity which is what I'm about to do but I don't think we need to show that now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deliberately capsize this and cue up the shot and then I'm going to run the pump battery compartment staying dry, that's good.
important to keep the water to the back to increase the flow rate of the pump. But right now it's almost buoyant enough for me to hop in and continue to purge with my uh, manual built pump. You can imagine if I was out in the middle of a lake and unable to make it back to shore with a submerged uh, kayak, this would pretty much do the trick. I'm going to turn it off to conserve the energy and then try and hop in. Japanese. I don't know if I should stick to the right or the left. Eh, let's go for the adventure. I have to use that bilge pump again. installed that thing. Yeah, it definitely took off some water. Let's see how she works. Oh yeah. Working like a charm. this thing. Not too shabby. Test the concept. Marzullo approved. 